since I was a child, I tried to be the best. So what happened? My family and friends all said I was blessed. So what happened? It was supposed to be all so exciting to be teaching of Christ across the sea. But I allowed my faith to be shaken. Oh, what's the matter with me? I've always longed to help the needy, to do the things I never dared. This was the time for me to step up. So then why was I so scared? A warlord who shoots people in the face? What's so scary about that? I must trust that my lord is mightier and always has my back. Now I must be completely devout. I can't have even one shred of doubt. I believe that the Lord God created the universe. I believe that he sent his only son to die for my sins. And I believe that ancient Jews built boats and sailed to America. I am a Mormon, and a Mormon just believes. You cannot just believe partway, you have to believe in it all. My problem was doubting the Lord's will instead of standing tall. I can't allow myself to have any doubt. It's time to set my worries free. Time to show the world what Elder Price is about and share the power inside of me. I believe that God has a plan for all of us. I believe that plan involves me getting my own planet. And I believe that the current president of the church, Thomas Monson, speaks directly to God. I am a Mormon, and dang it, a Mormon just believes. Just believe. I know that I must go and do the things my God commands. I realize now why he sent me here. If you ask the Lord in faith, he will always answer you. Just believe in him and have no fear. We have an intruder. He just walked right into camp. I believe that Satan has a hold of you. I believe that the Lord God has sent me here. And I believe that in 1978, God changed his mind about black people. And I feel so incredible to be sharing my faith with you. The scriptures say that if you ask in faith, if you ask God himself, you'll know. But you must ask him without any doubt and let your spirit grow. Know it's all true, you'll just feel it. You'll be a Mormon. And 